to some more of the let's the detailed do it. stuff. Okay, so um, first of all, I just saw that you had cancer and beat it with fenbendazole as for you know parasites, and that's one right. of the things that I, I took for a while. I'm curious, like, what got you onto that? Like, can you give a little background on that story? Yeah, sure. Um, it was kind of a wild story. I mean, it happened. Um, let's see. So I was diagnosed. Um, I started having some issues and couldn't quite figure out what was wrong. And finally, was diagnosed in the summer of um, the summer of 2019. Um, instead of taking sort of a traditional path, which is my way, I decided, you know what, I got to go. I got to go connect with God. And and so I went to uh, Spain and walked 500 miles on the Camino de Santiago. Came came home. I was sick <laughs> as a sick as a dog. I should uh-huh. I should I shouldn't have gone, but I did. And um, and I came back and started going through all the treatments. Uh, you know, they gave me the drugs. They gave me the radiation. I went through surgery, and it just really wasn't. It just wasn't going away. And they kept detecting new things, and it did uh, metastasize a little bit. And they did a biopsy in May of um, 2021, and it had spread to my kidneys. And so I was, I was like, oh man, this this isn't good. Just happened to run into um, a lady that's a surgeon friend of mine. She's like, man, I can't prescribe this to you. I can't even tell you to do this. Just go look at this website. Less than, I don't know, less than a day later, John, I was in. And and then I kind of learned there were some other things you needed to do. Like I had already been doing intermittent fasting. And so if you starve your body of carbs, that that's supposed to help cancer. And so I was already doing some of those things. I was supposed to go back in for some follow-up stuff they wanted to do another another biopsy they wanted to see how fast this thing was moving and then they were going to make some decisions and you know i was expecting surgery or whatever so i'm taking this stuff you know following the protocol taking my zinc and taking my vitamin c and doing my intermittent fasting uh cycling in and out of of the uh fenbendazole and i got I, I, I mean, it still gives me kind of chills to think about. So I, I walked into into my doctor's office in Houston, Texas, and they treat you in like teams there. So I had like I had like five people on your team. You have like a nurse and your main doctor and the oncology guys and the radi- radiology guys and all of that. And I walk in and everybody's in the room. First time I'd ever see them all in the same place at the same time. I mean, I immediately started thinking the worst. I'm like, oh, this is bad. So I'm not even going to sit down. Just tell me what the deal is. And they had the results of, of the uh, most recent biopsy and, and a whole bunch of blood work and some scans and some other stuff. And uh, my main guy stood up and just, I mean, just almost tears in his eyes and said, you have no evidence of disease in your body. I'm like, wow. what? I mean, I, I couldn't even like, I couldn't even like understand it. I thought, what? You know, because I was fully prepared to say, all right, let's go. Another round of surgery, yeah. whatever else you got to do.